Hey everybody, this is Brittany here from Surfing Waves of Light and today I am being guided to channel a video about winter and about surfing. So I thought to start this video I would practice my editing skills and edit in right here a little video of me doing both together, winter surfing. Um, I got to surf the other day, the waves were super fun, the swell direction was really good for where I live, and the waves were going across the beach. So I got a bunch of fun ones, and someone got one on camera, which um, I haven't had someone capture me in a long time, so um, I think they're going to speak about that too. And yeah, so, alright, so here's that clip, I'll let you watch that now, and then as soon as that's over... I'm gonna get to the channeling. Here you go. All right, welcome back. I hope you enjoyed that clip. If you can see in that video, I'm wearing a full five mil wetsuit with um, hood, booties, and gloves. I no, that's me because that's my surfboard that Greg made me a few years ago when we first started dating. It's my favorite board. I ride it all the time. Gets into waves so good. And yeah, I love that board. So I hope you enjoyed that clip. Now here's a channeling about winter and surfing. Yeah, let's see what the guides have to say. <laughs> Yes, 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 we are the beings of light. We are the multidimensional expression of all things. We are in all the different pockets and all the different corners, all of the energies throughout and within this dimension, and of course, in the higher frequency dimensions in which we exist in. Yes, we are the beings of light. We are part of the makeup of this planet of these physical things that you do not see has consciousness and yet they do because everything has consciousness for all things need energy to create them and so with energy there often comes awareness and so you can commune with these beings through their energetic awareness may it be different than your awareness yes of course but that means not that you will be unable to access them. You can access anything you want. You all have the power to be and access any energies that you want. And we emphasize this because this is a time to dream big. This is a time in Earth's history to be feeling into and imagining the highest frequency expression of your lifetime that you can imagine it in this current state of consciousness knowing that as time goes on and you continue to receive more unconditionally loving ideas, beliefs, and actions that this image will evolve. But it matters not where the evolution goes. It is only important that you start with the first step, which is of dreaming big, dreaming into what you want. And one way that you can dream into what you want is by imagining your perfect day. We have prescribed this before, imagining what would your day look like if you were to wake up without any responsibilities, any obligations. What would your day look like if you felt or believed for just one moment that you did not need to go to a job to make money, that you did not need to care for your children, that you did not need to care for your parents or meet bill obligations or anything. What would you do? Imagine yourself free and clear. What does your day look like? Do you have a fast or a slow day? Do you go through your own rhythms? What does that day look like? Hold that vision for yourself. 
and know that when you see it, it is possible. Will it take steps, many small steps to get there? Of course, for it is not where you are now. But know that just by envisioning it, that is the first tiny step that you all can take to have the perfect days. Because when you are all living your perfect day, this world works in perfect harmony. See, that is how it works, dear beings. When you are all out of alignment, sacrificing yourself with obligations and things that you do not need to do, then you are out of alignment and the world will be out of alignment. And there is some aspect of the world that is unfilled of this new earth that is unfilled because you are not there to fill it. We need all of you stepping up to your 5D jobs, your 5D lifestyles, your higher frequency expressions, because without you there, who will do that job? Who will be that expression? You all came into this time knowing that you would each have the perfect energies to benefit and complement each other. This being part of her project of 5D expression is to channel, is to use her voice, is to spread the messages of love and light that she is hearing from us on a daily basis. You may each have your own individual form of expression. None is better than the other. We just need you all starting to step up, starting to practice, starting to take those small steps into what you want, into how you wish to live. That is how you know that you are in alignment Whatever your job is for you to make abundance or money, this can come through you living your perfect day. We know you do not believe us, but this is true. It is more true than any out of alignment, obligated lifestyle you are currently living. That is the artificial reality, dear beings. That is the illusory nature of the world that you are reinforcing by believing that it is not possible to live your perfect day. We leave you with that for now as we transition into winter. Why we love winter for this being and for all beings and why your current mainstream makes it seem like only places with full time warmth are the best places to live. Of course, many of you dream of living in very warm places like Hawaii or California foreign countries, tropical islands. And this is the path for some beings. Yes, of course it is. There is a beautiful existence to be had in that way. But we do not wish for you to oversee the benefits of winter. And the temperature outside does not determine a winter really in our perspective. It is just that the coldness of winter, especially in the seasonal town this being lives in, it brings a form of energy. It brings a time that is not available to all other beings. You see, this being is not looped into the nine to five work day system. She is not looped into a school day. Her day through winter is allowed to be whatever it needs to be. We first had her, her experience a full winter the year her father passed away. There was no mistake the day he passed in the middle of winter, for we wanted this being to be here, to be present, to begin to come into the winter months with gratitude, with acceptance and excitement. For before that, she would travel in the winter, leave this warm place and go to somewhere warm as well. And this served her greatly. But now that her consciousness is aligned with love, what she needs and each of you need is winter time in order to figure out what your perfect day is. You see, you have all been so wrapped up in these obligations and duties of not loving yourself because of the world you were brought up in, that there is an unraveling process that needs to occur. And this unraveling best occurs in an area where there's time and space and quiet. Winter for us is sort of like an extended retreat. We know many of you go on retreats. You go away to see a person or to a yoga retreat or a spa retreat, a channeling retreat, 
And for those three or four days or however long, you take a break from the world and allow yourself to be in that energy. Winter is an opportunity for that as well. It is an opportunity to be in the energy of who you are. You can have a retreat in your own home every single day in the winter when you are undisturbed by these outside influences and forces. And each of you really need this time. This time over years and years has been how this being has learned what her perfect day is. She knows what her perfect day is. She needs not any stimuli from the outside world to live a full and happy day in her own home. That is the kind of sureness and alignment that we want each of you to experience. We want you all to be content and at peace and filled up just by being in your own homes, by going through your meditative practices and treating your entire day like a meditation, including in your day the things you love that you're passionate about, meditating quietly or listening to a guided meditation, breathing in meditation, doing artwork, surfing or walking in meditation, whatever that is, that joyful expression, we need you there. We need beings in their joyful expression and winter. This is a time when you can really ground and center into who you are. You are tangled up and you need some free time and space to un unwire, to unwangle, to untangle. This is what you all need. You need to learn to be okay with yourselves, to be okay with your alone time, even though you are not alone, to make more room for us, to consider the times that you spend with us, some of the most amazing times in your life. Because when you get to know us in your own home, that is when you can really take us out into the world Take that trust and relationship that you've built from the safety and wellness of your own home and bring it out into the world, into the actions that we do have planned for you. So many of you are frustrated at this time because you are in inaction. You are in rest. You are being pulled back by a chronic illness or an injury or some sort of circumstance that is not allowing you to go places or do the things you want to do but yet you are not ready to do those things. That is why you are home. That is why you are injured. That is why the circumstances are not yet perfect for your traveling or whatever that thing is that you wish to do. We need you in winter. We need you to embrace the times when you can be with yourself because being with yourself, being happy with yourself, this is the path. You are all on this journey and you have many companions but no one will be walking your exact path. You are in a separated consciousness that would contradict that experience that two beings will always be on the exact same path. That is not to say that you will not have long-term loving relationships. It is more to say that you will love yourself first and then the company that is around you will just increase and benefit that love. You will not be reliant on some other being's love because you will have spent this winter time knowing yourself, learning about yourself. And in that time and space is when traumas from the past can be brought to the surface and healed. When you are all so busy wandering around from task to task and work project to work project, your trauma stays in your body because there is no time and space for it to be released. There is no place for it to go because also you are functioning in a fast and busy way to avoid that trauma. It is a mutual relationship. So we encourage you, even if it is just one day or a weekend, can you spend more time with yourself? Can you winter? This being used to hate winter and now she loves it. She loves spending time in the cold, in the winter, and even the cold as a part of winter, it is very healing. It is very grounding. The first winter, this being almost fully spent, spent most of her time here, she embraced winter. She learned how to surf in the winter. She had only surfed in the summer and sometimes the fall and occasionally the spring, but she had never surfed in the winter. We are not saying you all need to do this. 
But what she learned was that she could love the place she lived year round. This is of great importance to her life because everyone needs to learn to love the place they are. There is nothing wrong with leaving, but for communities to form and these connections to be made, there really needs to be a place that you are honoring and grounding as your home. So find a way to love the place you live. Find the outdoor hiking or the outdoor walking or whatever it is that you can do year round where you can start to create community and be with others. Being outside year round, it teaches you about nature. It shows you what is part of the natural cycles. The trees do not stay alive and bloom all year long. They bloom each summer after a deep and conscious winter, a time of inner reflection, of inner knowing. You can fill your entire cup just being where you are. And so if this guidance aligns with you, then we encourage you, have a winter for yourself as a part of your healing, as a part of your ascension and expanding process. For these things teach you how to be in the fifth dimensional expression of this planet. There is a season to this place. There is a flow. Winter can help you find that in the quiet you can examine your beliefs and ideas and thoughts. This being's Course of Miracles practice is always emphasized in the winter for she is not bombarded with outside external influence as she is in the summers here. Winter is a beautiful time of change and transformation. And when you go through that transformative process, that spring and summer, you will bloom even more brilliantly than you did the year before. And that is so what the progression of transformation is on this planet. It is like a twister. You go up a little more and a little more. Each winter you come inside and you learn about yourself and then you come out a little bit better and a little bit better until one day you are so in alignment that you are channeling the energies from above and below. Because channeling is not just a verbal thing. It is a physical thing too. It is in the expression of your life. Your life is a piece of art. How you express yourself, how you create abundance, how you support yourself. These are all artistic endeavors. The system is breaking down. It is not reliable, but it will remain as long as you need it. So there is no rush of time and yet now is such a great time to be taking those steps into being who you are. Because these obligated ways of living, these are not your truth. These are not your realities. It is just a game you decided to play. And now is the time of unraveling. And winter is so good for that. Trust in what is happening to you, for it is exactly what you need. Whatever is going on, do not judge it. Love yourself so much that whatever has happened in the past or could happen in the future, it is not going to deter your, you from loving yourself unconditionally. We do not judge here in the upper realms. We have no use for that. We do not wish to incur separation for we know the pain it brings. It is so acute in our awareness. But on this plane, you have created a game where you can be in separation and that awareness of pain from it is not so apparent until the dense energies start to lift as they are. So if you are feeling pain, it is from separation. Figure out what you are separated from. Use winter to learn about yourself. You need to learn about yourself. You never had time to learn about yourself because you were so congested with dense mucosic energies of unloving ideas. That is what it looks like to us here. It is mucosa, just blotting the, sh the screen 
the image of a perfect incarnational creation of God, the creator being. Love yourself enough to learn who you really are and use winter to find that highest expression. We are the beings of light and we love you all. We are sending you energy right now, an idea, a feeling or a message on how you can deepen further into yourself. We will infuse our energies with yours at another time. All right, so that was the beings of light talking about winter. They had a lot to say and um, yeah, my eyes were tearing a little bit, I don't know why, but um, I really like that channeling. Um, I, as I've said, I love winter so much and I look forward to it now. I mean, yeah, am I not as tan? Of course, I'm more pale, my hair is not as blonde and there's all these reasons I'm not out in the sun, but the cold water and the sunsets, even if you don't surf, the sunsets from the water in the ocean in the winter, they have even more beautiful and deep colors than the summer. And there's just something about it that it's really amazing. And I haven't always done this. I was definitely not in a position to do this last winter, but my boyfriend Greg has been jumping in the ocean every day and I've been joining him a lot. We've been doing um, some Wim Hof breathing, actually after we, well, we're jumping in the ocean, coming home, shower, Wim Hof breathing and meditation. And I have started my day so grounded. And that has been a huge thing for me too, because I'm very airy. I'm very much the air energy. Um, and my boyfriend's more the grounded one. And this feeling of groundedness from just having some time to do these rituals I've always wanted to do and actually feeling inspired to jump in the ocean in the winter, not for everyone. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's brought me more than, I, than I've ever received from any other source of wellness and healing. Consistency and discipline, something that's not my strong suits. So that's all I'll say about winter and my experiences. I still love traveling, I still love warm water. There's, that's also amazing, but there's a deepness and a stillness to winter that forces you to look inside. And um, yeah, I learned to love it. I, I don't wanna carry all this heavy baggage anymore and any traumas that are within me, I wanna give them the time and space to come up and to heal and to release because I don't want them. I'm so tired of carrying around emotional shit, physical shit, all of it, excuse my cursing, but I'm just, I don't want it. I don't want the illusions anymore, so but I still have to do the work and I'm trying and you are all getting to see. So that's all I'll say. I hope you enjoyed the video of me surfing. I might play it again right now. So you can check it out on your way out of here. Um, so stoked on that. I hope you enjoyed and it gave you a little more picture of what my life looks like in the winter. Love you all so much. Bye.